All right, Mr. Telefero TV, how's everybody doing out there? Takashi69. Sheesh, if I really wanted to count how many times I've talked about this artist in 2018, it would be a lot. Just call it what it is. He's a very talked about popular artist in the culture right now. And Takashi69 has uh, not shied away from these headlines that he has created for himself, for good or for bad. Now, Takashi 69 for those who don't know, a few months ago, Takashi 69 was involved in a kidnapping incident. And it was an incident that, um, it was super random. I'm be honest with you, Takashi was shooting a, a video in New York somewhere, I believe in the New York area. And after the video shoot, he was kidnapped, pistol whipped. And uh, according to Takashi, a man made him go inside his home he knew the area he knew how to get to takashi's crib so already you know it's some sort of an inside job off the rip and he made takashi go inside his home where i believe takashi's baby mother and his kid was present at the time he made him go inside and, and get his jewelry at that point takashi gave up about seven hundred and fifty thousand dollars in jewelry and about 15 grand in cash now here's where the story gets crazy according to takashi after they get the money and the jewelry, they leave the, they don't touch the family at all. You know, they just, they take off with Takashi and in traffic, somehow, some way Takashi battles back. He was pistol whipped, probably out of concussion. He battles back and on some Superman ish, he flies out of the car. All right. He flies out of the car. He's left on the street. And at that point he's able to call for some help and everything like that and get to a hospital or whatever and, and kind of take care of his injuries that he sustained during that um pistol whip and kidnap y'all remember my my stance on this if anybody been subscribed to my platform for a few months i was like this story sound fake as hell because like in the next two days takashi was on tmz and i was like yo this shit don't even sound believable like yo how in 2018 if somebody robs you number one unfortunately we live in an era where most people kill after robbery but even if they do um if they do decide not to kill you, you ain't just finna fly out of the car on some Superman-ish after they get their jewelry and the money, after the victim has heard your voice, maybe been able to make out your face or whatever it is, your smell, whatever. I find it hard to believe that Takashi Superman is way out of the car. Now, apparently I'm wrong. As of today, TMZ came out with a report saying that the federal agents have found the man that was responsible for this kidnapping and pistol whipping of Takashi 69 and robbery as well um in a document obtained uh guy's name is Anthony Jamel Ellison he has been indicted on one count of conspiracy to obstruct commerce by robbery one count of obstructing commerce by robbery and one count of carrying a firearm to commit a crime all right they apparently they got him on November 6th and he's in a federal prison in Manhattan awaiting trial. And he has pled not guilty to all the charges. So I do apologize to Takashi 69 I'm going to be honest with you, man. A lot of his thing has been a gimmick. So it's tough. He's the little boy who cried wolf. He's walking around saying, you can't rob me. You ain't going to touch me. He's taunting different artists, calling them out, saying that they not really real. I ain't believe the story. It's like the little boy who cried wolf. Like, yo, a lot of people just weren't trying to hear that. You getting robbed. You the one who's been talking, popping off at the mouth. You probably made yourself a target by just how much shit you was talking. And you know, in a lot of Takashi's raps, he raps about a home that he really stays in, right? Like I know you got a lot of uh, your set that's around you. You got security and all that, but still, he just lives a dangerous lifestyle, which a lot of people look at it like, yo, you put a lot of sh of this shit on yourself, and it's tough to feel victim or empathize or sympathize with somebody in that regard. And maybe me looking at that, those outside factors uh, kind of made it difficult to see the inside of this story and um, really see the truth. And and apparently Takashi 69 was actually ki kidnapped and pistol whipped and robbed. And they now have this guy. I think this guy got a lot of Takashi's like real pieces, them big boy pieces. If you look at Takashi, he doesn't walk around as, with as much jewelry on his neck as he used to. So maybe they find that jury that shit probably done been bust down and, and the money probably been made off it at this point i doubt takashi cooperates with law enforcement he's fighting enough in his own outright in regards to his image the last thing you know is just rappers how rappers move i'm not saying i agree with it 
he ain't gonna put the he ain't gonna do the snitch thing. He ain't gonna do it. He just I'm telling y'all now. I ain't, I ain't talked to Takashi or anyone in his camp. He ain't gonna do it. He's not gonna talk to any law enforcement. So this guy, unless the uh, federal agents are able to find some sort of evidence, which to pick him up, they gotta have something. I just doubt it'll be able to stick to this guy. So just to clear up any confusion, Anthony Jamel Ellison has been captured by federal agents. Federal warrant was out for him. They picked him up on November 6th. And he is the guy to believe to uh, pistol whipped, robbed, and kidnapped Takashi 69 a few months ago. Thank y'all so much for the time, love, support. I do not take it for granted. Salute. Uh. I came from nothing, but I want everything God has for me. I interview celebrities. I talk sports. I still represent the culture. I got the kids. They you are now tuned in. Tuned in. Yo, we locked in right now, Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Mr. Telefair. Shout out to Mr. Telefair. You're watching Mr. Telefair TV. Mr. Telefair TV? Here with the triple B's, you can't do nothing but win.